more than 40 times a day. That's how often this resident of Gurugram in North India realized he used swear words targeting women since he started maintaining account of the profanities he uttered, not just when angry, but also in casual conversation. I never gave a second thought to their meaning or on their harmful impact on others. I just followed others in doing what is so common in our environment, using women-centric swear words. In July, he and his father joined a campaign that is persuading students, families and adults across towns and villages in Haryana state to change the deep-seated habit of using sexist abuses. I understood what we say is wrong because what we say also affects our mothers, sisters and wives. Some of the most frequently used swear words in India are misogynistic. They reinforce patriarchal attitudes toward women, according to this social activist spearheading the campaign. We become biased men who always view women as being inferior. Schools are signing up for the campaign by calling on students to maintain account of the sexist cuss words they use on this chart, then to try and gradually cut them. Unlearning the vocabulary many picked up from fathers, uncles and in their neighbourhood is an uphill task. In this school, where the campaign was launched recently, Students say they are spreading the word to stop the practice. In school, when my friends used these words, so did I. But now I realize that younger children will learn to do the same. Nobody will stop swearing overnight. This needs time because breaking old habits happens gradually. In some places, the campaign is showing results. In the Sharma household, men say they have cut women-centric swearing by more than half, replacing them with words like, oh my God. Women are noticing a difference. Now the men are more polite. Earlier, we heard them using these abuses in their conversation all the time. Stopping that has helped us feel equal to the men. Changing language that reflects a deep-seated culture of gender discrimination can even help address issues such as violence. If we start teaching from childhood that this is wrong, it will reduce domestic violence that is rampant. Because when we can correct our language, then automatically our attitudes and thoughts also undergo a change. The campaign is yet another chapter in India's battle against a patriarchal system. Anjana Pasricha for VOA News, New Delhi.